Hi, I'm Håkan. I'm the CEO of Nordnet. Welcome to this presentation of Nordnet's first quarter 2014. I have Jacob with me here as well. And I think you know us by now, so let's start right away. Nordnet is turning 18 this year, and I want to begin this presentation by saying a couple of words about our history. Nordnet started from a passionate belief that change in the hierarchical financial world was possible. We shared a deep frustration with a lot of people over the fact that the power and the tools of the financial market belonged to the banks at the expense of you and me. We used internet as a democratizing mechanism. We gave everyone the tools and the information they needed to become their own stockbroker. And we lowered the prices for stock trading dramatically. We turned the business upside down. A lot has changed since then, but our mission is still the same, to redefine the financial world by empowering the savers of today and tomorrow. The first quarter of 2014 started in a positive way. 9,400 savers decided to join Nordnet during the first three months of 2014, resulting in a total of 404,100 customers with 501,200 accounts. Our customers have now 145 billion SEC on our platform. Net savings for the first quarter is 3% better than Q1 last year, amounting to 3.8 billion SEC. As usual during the first quarter of the year, the activity in the market was good. Trades are up 17% compared to last year and our lending volume is now 5.7 billion SEC. The interest income from lending is somewhat better than same quarter last year because of the higher volume. Nevertheless, the net interest income from lending is put under pressure due to low market interest rates. I will now hand over to Jacob who will give us the details about our revenues and costs. Our revenues for the period January to March are 281.8 million Swedish kroner, which is 15% better than the same quarter of last year. The growth comes mainly from commission income and the explanation, as Håkan pointed out earlier, is a higher number of trades on our platform in this quarter. We previously communicated that a cost level of 180 million Swedish kroner per quarter is reasonable in the current market environment. However, we've also said that we need to be flexible and that we will invest when we see the right opportunity. Our costs, including credit losses this quarter, amount to a little bit more than 186 million which is up 2% from the last quarter of 2013 and up almost 8% compared to the first quarter of 2013. In the positive market environment that we've seen since the middle of last year, we've chosen to increase the pace in investments in projects related to IT, product development, and also the build-up of our new customer data analytics function. The operating result for the quarter is 35% better than the same period last year and amounts to 95.3 million Swedish kroner, which gives us an operating margin of 34%. So a quick recap on what we just said. The market activity during the quarter was good, with a 17% increase in trades compared, compared to Q1 of last year. We've seen continued growth during the quarter. At the end of the period, we have over 400,000 customers who have over half a million accounts and roughly 145 billion in savings capital on our platform. Also costs in this quarter uh, are higher than previous quarter. The reason for that is increased spending when it comes to projects related to IT, product development and the build up of our customer data analytics function. So let me finish where I started. To give private savers the tools and the possibilities to take control over their own financial future is still our mission. Our answer to the non-transparent advisory market and the changed consumer behavior when it comes to search for information is the social investing platform, Shareville, which soon will be launched in all our four markets. 
a response to increased cons consumer power and more transparency in the pension market is to gear up our efforts in the long-term savings. We will continue to change and improve the conditions for the savers while also building a business that is good for NordNet and our shareholders. As a NordNet customer, you should feel that we are on the same side, that your success is also ours. Thank you for watching. You will find all the information about our company on our investor site, nordnetab.com. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you.